All right, this is my water heater. It's got pretty stinky water. We have hard water here, and it smells like sulfur water. We turn the hot water on. It's a ream um, hot water heater. So I'm going to flush it, and I'm going to clean it out with some hydrogen peroxide. Um, first thing you do is you disable the, um, the water heater on your electrical box. You don't want any electric on there at all. Then you, um, if you have your valve valves there, you turn off the um, valve to the um, cold side. And um, you put a hose on the bottom and you um, start, you see that knob on there, you turn that knob and it lets the water out. Um, to get the water to come out, you have to open one of the hot water sink tabs. And, or you can, I do both. I do that and I, I do this. I lift this, this valve up and it lets air in. So that will let it drain. It'll take hours to drain. We're talking like three, four hours to drain. Um, now the um, second part, of the third part of this, or second part of this is, um, I took that um, anoid out of there. This is a five-year-old unit, but it, 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 was, it was messed up when I got it. Um, it was um, sitting for five months with a bad anode in there, uh, with a bad thermostat. Um, so I, what you do is you, you take that anode out and it, while you're draining it, and it actually lets it drain a little quicker too. Um, as you can see on the floor, I have the original anode. It's black. It looks like magnesium. And I got another anode from um, Home Depot. They only had one. Lowe's didn't have any. And it's the kind that you could bend a little bit. Um, I really don't like that kind, but that's all they had. It was $24.99. I bought two... Um, quarts of um, hydrogen peroxide to flush it out later too. And I, I bought a PVC pipe with a hose bib connector and the right angle and I cut the right angle off so I could um, fit it in the, um, if you look on the bottom here, I open this up and that's where the um, thermos, where the heating element is. And I'm going to take that heating element and put the pipe in there at a right angle with a hose connected to it and flush out the bottom because you can't get the bottom out sometimes the material on the bottom the calcium and stuff so I figured that was something good that can I can do I seen it on YouTube at one point I opened up the other one because I was adjusting the heater um, to a little bit hotter you really want your water heater running at 120 or higher um, between 120 and like 125 um, uh, what I had done prior is I set it to like 140 plus so it could kill all the um, um, bacteria and stuff in there. Um, I, 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 I set it to 140 and I, I left it at that for like 35 minutes um, and it supposedly kills the bacteria in there. But as you know on the top here it takes a 1 and a 16th I think um, threaded um, bolt to pull that out and I used my um, pipe wrench. Uh, um, my tire iron to make a really big lever and I also used um, this um, this socket wrench here it's a 1 1 16th I think and it might be 1 1 quarter actually I'm sorry 1 1 quarter um, so for now I'm just gonna wait for it to drain and then I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I'm gonna create that um, stick here to um, flush out the bottom a little bit I don't know if I really need to um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right angle over here, glue it on, and you see it's really narrow so I can fit it in the hole. And then I'm going to put a hose bib over here so that I can um, force water through and aim it at the bottom of the tank and get that all mixed up and, and then flush it again a little bit. So when I get back I'll show you how to um, do that and then I'll, 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 I'll start pouring the hydrogen peroxide in, two, two quarts. I'll fill it up and let it sit there for about four hours, three or four hours. Let it really work its way into the water and um, clean out any bacteria that might be in there. Now this pipe, I think the original one is magnesium. This one's aluminum. Um, I read that the aluminum ones are better for um, hard water and also um, it, 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 it doesn't uh, it, it takes care of the corrosion a lot better. 
Um, so I'm using the aluminum one. It's the only choice I had. And you can see the brakes in them right here. So you can bend it if you have no room, but I have plenty of room. I really didn't want this one, but um, it's all they had at Home Depot. They don't sell any other unless you go online and buy it, which you know. So we'll see. I'll show you in a bit. And um, there's the um, head of it, the one and a quarter. So you you basically take that, um, there's the styrofoam on top of the um, heating L. It's, it's top of the water heater. Um, in this hole, it's 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 got in this hole it has styrofoam and then the, the the nuts down here well you have to take that styrofoam out I, I went and um, cut it out with a screwdriver it's not very hard to get out and then I took a vacuum and vacuumed it and then I took the nut out because I don't want anything going inside okay so I made a funnel out of a piece of um, a, a plate a paper plate because I don't have a funnel and I poured hydrogen peroxide into the um, unit of course, prior to that, I turned off the tap on the bottom. So now all the hydrogen peroxide is in here. I'm going to let the cold water in with this um, valve here. And I'll have to keep an eye because I'm not going to put the um, plug back in, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Um, I'm not going to wind up cleaning the bottom um, below the element there with the um, stick because my wife's complaining about me taking up so much time to do this so I'm not going to be able to do that but I think we'll be fine okay um, I wasn't paying attention too good and it overflew through the um, overflow pipe back there for a few seconds and I got some on the floor of course um, I put the um, anode back in I put some Teflon tape around the top and I just snugged it up pretty tight I didn't do it as tight as it was on but I did it pretty tight. I think it'll be fine. Um, I might do it a little bit more. I'm going to put all these um, electrical back together and um, just leave it alone. Um, after about a um, couple hours, I'm going to start draining. I'm going to run all this through the tap so it gets the um, um, hydrogen peroxide into all the lines. And then I'm going to um, drain this it'll take hours to drain and then fill it up and turn the electrical back on um, but we should be almost done okay I took some of the extra wool from um, these uh, electrical panels because there's a lot of wool in there and I shoved it into the hole in replace of the um, fiberglass that was in there 